Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving you an overview of this wonderful platform, which is Ouroboros. Ouroboros is a DEX aggregator swap to N. Okay, so this is the medium article, which I'm going to be explaining. This is cutting from Ouroboros medium page. Okay, Ouroboros is, a, is an all-in-one DeFi platform with unique ending model, which is swap to N. This is the first time I'm also hearing of swap to end. So that is what the Reboros is incorporating. Swap to end, where you swap to end. Reboros, as I said earlier, is a DEX aggregator. Reboros want to give the user back the right to manage his money again by giving him a very simple tool to assess sophisticated technology. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you the product description. The Roboros team plans to release two versions of the product, version 1.0 with basic functionality and version 2.0 with extended functionality. Okay, so let's talk about version 1.0. Roboros 1.0 will add as a DEX aggregator. The main features of this version 1.0 will consist of a farming protocol that entails the aggregation of farming facilities in DeFi space. It is actually wonderful. Okay, the main purpose of this DEX aggregator is to procure the most profitable farming and fix offers. I love this, I'm loving this already. As well as to provide cashback for transactions. Cashback, that is when you swap you end. So, Roboros, the difference between Roboros and other platforms is that Roboros will give you cashback. You will be able to earn when you swap from Roboros platform. It gives you an opportunity to make money by swapping using our swap to end protocol. So this is actually wonderful. If you want to make more money on DeFi, this is uh, the platform I'm recommend, uh, recommending to you today, which is Roboros Swap to N. On the network, you bypass the need to purchase native platform and liquidity protocols. It's actually wonderful because some other platform will make, make it impossible for you to be able to purchase a native token or liquidity pool token. But in Roboros, you bypass that principle. You'll be able to swap in the cryptocurrency. And N. Let's talk about Roboros 2.0. Roboros 2.0 will act as an extension of the functionality of version 1.0 with the addition of functions inherent to sex platform. Sex actually means centralized exchange. So Roboros 2.0 will actually have features that are similar to centralized exchange, which we all know. Version 2.0 will take a step away from classical network features with wired bridges in wallets and exchanges. You can be able to access multi-chain liquidity with this version 2.0 and you'll be able to use um, Roboros passion, passionless and chainless wallets. Okay, the simplification of all transfer and browsing operations as well as the expansion of exchange functionality for professional traders are the main distinction of version 2.0 from version 1.0. Okay, the main difference between this version 2.0 and version 1.0 is that version 2.0 is actually similar to sex platform to centralized exchange in the sense that there will be expansion of exchange functionality for professional trader. You can be able to trade features and spots on Roboros 2.0, while on Roboros 1.0 is actually a centralized exchange. Whereby you can only swap, you can only stick to go. But Robust 2.0 is expanded in the sense that you can be able to trade features, spots, all those functionalities you usually see on centralized exchange. You will to have it on Robust 2.0. It is actually wonderful. Okay, let's talk about the mission and vision of Robust. Okay, what is the vision? Our mission and vision. One, we want to create a full fledged ecosystem. In the DeFi space, wow! A full fledged, full fledged means a combination of um, centralized exchange and decentralized exchange. As I said, Robots 2.0 is about centralized exchange, while Robots 1.0 is about decentralized exchange. So we want to create a full fledged ecosystem in DeFi space and also integrate it into the world of conventional finance. So we want to integrate Robots 2.0 and Robots 1.0 to the world of conventional finance. Okay, and also we want to give a, a, a user opportunity to benefit from MEV and make money now, not relying on future with APIs. 
Okay, what is M MEV? MEV means mechanical extractable value. So we want our user to be able to benefit from mechanical extractable value by being able to make money from arbitrage mechanism available on Ouroboros. You don't need to rely on old APIs. You make money instantly when you swap your end. That is the wonderful features of this Ouroboros. Okay, we want to give user a tool to access the old DeFi ecosystem from a single place. Okay, on Ouroboros, when version 2.0 is launched, you're able to access any form of feature you want on the DeFi ecosystem just from one place, that is one platform, which is Ouroboros. We strive to make the use of DeFi tools simple so that user of any skill level can use all the functionality of Ouroboros ecosystem without the fear of making mistakes and losing funds. The one thing I love about the Ouroboros is that they want to make a uh, Ouroboros ecosystem as simple as possible. Even though you have no knowledge of DeFi, you can be able to navigate through the DeFi tools on Ouroboros and you don't have any fear of making mistakes, so, unlike some other platform. It's so complicated. Whenever you go on to it, you want to perform a functionality, you will not be able to understand it. But Ouroboros is making things very easy. The um, design, the UX, the user experience is actually very wonderful. Whether you have knowledge of crypto or not, to be able to navigate through Ouroboros ecosystem. Ouroboros also aim to create an honest token exchange service where users can get the best exchange rates and can feel secure. You can also get the best exchange rates, especially when Ouroboros 2.0 is being launched. That is an honest token exchange service. Okay, Ouroboros is actually working to make a fully decentralized exchange that will become the core of large DeFi ecosystem with the non-chain wallets, payment gateway, and classic DEX functionality for ordinary users. Ouroboros also have a play-to-earn model and other earning services from across the DeFi markets. And that will also be integrated in the nearest future. Um, other model on DeFi ecosystem, a play-to-earn, play-to-earn, will be integrated into the Ouroboros ecosystem. In the nearest future. Another um, vision and mission of global ecosystem is that we mean to grow with the rapid evolving world of DeFi by creating a community of like-minded people around the ecosystem and by fostering mutual support. So our ecosystem is actually going to grow very large. Okay, now let's talk about Roblox version 1.0, the key features of Roblox version 1.0. So we are going to learn a lot from this article. Okay, number one, uh, the, one of the key features of Ouroboros version 1.0 is that you have unlimited cashbacks on transactions. Okay, let's talk about this unlimited cashback on transactions. The swap to end model allows users to earn a certain percentage of cashback on the transactions they conduct. This is actually wonderful. You will not see this in any other platform apart only on Ouroboros. The cashback will be paid in a token that was exchanged. This is wonderful. The larger the exchange amount, the more, more likely the user is to receive cashback. For example, when you exchange BNB for USDT, like when you are swapping BNB for USDT, users will receive cashback in BNB as the original exchange asset. This is actually easy to understand. When you swap from one token to another, you are going to receive cashback on the token which you swap. Let's say, for example, you are swapping BNB for USDT, maybe 100 BNB to USDT. You are going to get cash back. You are going to receive a percentage from the BNB which you swap. This is actually wonderful. I can't wait for this platform to be launched. Okay. Another feature of this Roblox 1.0 is that there is gasless swaps and time saving. Gasless swaps and time savings. The lack of any gas fees on Roblox saves users from having to buy native exchange tokens to facilitate the swap procedure. This is a very unique feature of this Roblox 1.0. Unlike other platforms whereby for you to be able to swap, you need to have a gas fee of the native token of the platform. But in Roblox, Roblox have a gasless swap policy in the sense that you don't need to have a native token of Roblox for you to be able to perform any swap. Commissions are paid only when exchanging tokens across network. It's wonderful. You don't need to have any gas fee on Roblox. Roblox save you from buying any native token. Token on Roblox, commissions are actually paid only when exchanging tokens across network. That is when you pay commission, only when you are exchanging tokens across network. That is when commissions are paid. But all that are free. 
The fact that many centralized exchanges profit from their user base using native platform token is not in line with the spirit of freedom. It is not what the centralization blockchain was initially intended for. So that is what Roboros is actually doing. You have the ability, you have the freedom to be able to exchange different tokens without paying any gas fee. That is what Roboros is actually incorporating. That is the, basically the principle of blockchain, which is decentralization. Okay, another feature is farming aggregation. The giving function provides users with an understandable, high, and stable APY. This is very wonderful. Of high and stable API. The aggregation of farming across DeFi platform provides a transparent view of DeFi space players and allows users to select the pools and instruments that deem suitable based on their own risk appetite. Okay, on Roboros 1.0, you have the freedom to be able to select any form of pool you want, which is suitable according to your risk appetite. That is the farming aggregation. Another feature of Roboros 1.0 is clear pricing. Users can see the rates when exchanging and buying cryptocurrency since they are greeted across network on Roboros. Such an approach saves time on having to look for the best rate, thereby facilitating operation. It's clear pricing. You can see different rates when exchanging and buying cryptocurrency. That makes things actually easy for users. Okay, another feature is convenience. Even a grandmother will be able to send a grandson some bitcoins on his birthday this is very wonderful that means roboros platform is going to be as simple as possible that even a grandmother be able to use the platform in saying that you're able to send a grandson bitcoins on his birthday that is what roboros is actually bringing making a cryptocurrency as easy as possible for anyone to be able to use it another feature of this roboros 1.0 is portfolio management the integrated portfolio management functionality will allow users to view all their assets and manage them across the five platforms directly from Roboros interface. This is very wonderful. Roboros 1.0 is actually going to incorporate a very nice integrated portfolio in the sense that you can be able to have access to various assets across different networks and be able to manage them on the Ouroboros platform. It's very wonderful. Okay. Let's talk about Ouroboros governance token. The Ouroboros token we add as the main governance access instruments, allowing users to vote on proposals and introducing changes to the platform. It will add as the main governance access instrument, which is the Ouroboros token. Part of the profit generated by Roboros will be distributed in the form of monthly dividends among users who hold the Roboros token for more than 30 days. You can see this in any other platform. If you are holding a Roboros native token, you will to have access to dividend. That dividend will be shared um, within it will be shared at the end of the month. That is, if you hold Roboros token for 30 days, at the end of that 30 days, you'll be given a share of Roboros which is known as the monthly dividend. There is a reward for early community members. Okay, we wish to form a community of people who endorse the same values and can help us build the product and participate in the life of uh, this centralized autonomous organization of Roboros. Therefore, okay, we will slightly lift the veil of some planning activities in the sense that if you are a member of Roboros community, you have access to airdrop. This airdrop is designed primarily for contributors, ambassadors, and active users of your project. If you are a, a good contributor of Roboros, if you support Roboros project, you have access to airdrop. This is very wonderful. A cool building channel for the real Web3 enthusiasts will be launched on the Discord server with the opportunity to participate in the product code building and to be the first to test this service and provide the feedback. See? Is one of the advantages of being an early community member of Roboros. You able to have access to test um, the product of Roboros and also give feedback. Okay. A collection of NFTs will be launched, the owners of which will be able to receive benefits from transfers. Wow, wow. That means you have access to whitelist. You whitelisted for being an early member of the Roboros community. OG rules and fun competitions with price. That means you have access to various competitions on 
uh, because you are a member of the Boros community. Reduce payment commission and all some farming conditions for active users. This is one of the one of the advantages. Reduce payment commissions. Okay, you have access to close functionality. You'll be the first to get profit from Roboros. This is wonderful. <laughs> so my advice for you guys for you to join Roboros community now. So I can be able to have access to the various um to the various benefits that have been listed here. If you check my video description, you're going to be seeing these links for you to be able to join Roboros community and also have access to this medium article. Thank you very much for watching this video.